So, now that university degrees in Finland are no longer free of charge for non-European Union and non-European economic area citizens, it is very important to know what kind of scholarships are at your disposal. In this video we will look at the scholarships that you can apply for specifically when studying at Aalto University. What's up guys, it's Oliver here and welcome back to the channel. On this channel I post videos about education, entrepreneurship as well as early career development specifically in Finland. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing. So as mentioned, today we're talking about the scholarship options specifically meant for those who are either already studying at or applying to Aalto University. This video is actually just a part of a series of videos about scholarships in Finland. The reason I'm splitting this topic into multiple videos is simply put that most of the relevant scholarships in Finland are granted by individual universities, so going through all of them in a single video is almost impossible. So before I actually go into individual scholarships, there are two general rules that are really, really important to know. So first of all, none of the scholarships provided by Aalto University actually cover living costs, so do take that into account when you're planning your finances. Second, do note that if the combined value of your grants and scholarships exceed the amount of 20,461 euros and 71 cents uh, per calendar year, the exceeding amount will be a subject for taxation in Finland. So, the first scholarship program is called the Alta University Scholarship Program. This is actually the official scholarship program uh, granted by Alta University. These scholarships are allocated on the basis of academic evaluation of the applicants, and they will either cover 100% or 50% of your tuition fee. If awarded, this will also cover exchange studies or an international internship if you include one into your degree. So the big downside of the Aalto University scholarship program is that it, you can only apply for it with the same application form that you use to apply to your degree program. Also do know that there are no reserve lists for the scholarships and the decisions cannot appeal the ones they have been made. So the second scholarship at Aalto is the incentive-based scholarship. Basically, this is a 1500 euro scholarship that is meant to reward students that have done good progress in their studies. It is granted for those students who have completed at least 60 credits during one academic year. But the cool thing is that this scholarship can be granted multiple times, so do remember to apply for it every single year. Also good to know, this scholarship is paid to the students at the end of the autumn term or upon graduation if you basically finish your studies before the end of autumn. Lastly, the application for this scholarship happens at the end of the spring term, so if you are a current Aalto University student, do not forget to apply this year. So the third scholarship at Aalto is granted for an additional semester following the standard period of study. It is meant for those students who are really close to their graduation, but still need one extra semester to finish their studies. The cool thing about this is that if granted, this will cover 100% of your tuition fee for that additional semester. However, do note that this scholarship has two really strict requirements. So first of all, you have to have a realistic and approved plan to finish your studies within that additional semester. Second, you actually have to submit your thesis and apply for graduation within that given time period. Failure in either of these can actually end up in disqualification for this scholarship. Also good to know, the application period for these scholarships are usually between April and May, but some exceptions have been made on case-by-case -case basis, if there is a need. So fourth, we have the Aalto Reserve Scholarship Program. This basically concerns students who have resident permits that exempt them from uh, tuition fees for just the first academic year, but become liable for tuition fees due to a change in that residence permit. This scholarship covers either 100% or 50% of the tuition fee for the remainder of the program that you have left. So the eligibility for this scholarship is basically based on four criteria. One, 
your previous exemption that I mentioned has been for, for the same program that you're continuing with. Two, you have completed at least 55 credits per year. Third, you are able to graduate in time. So basically for masters, this means maximum two years and for bachelors, maximum three years. And fourth, you have good average grades. This is actually very important because there's a very limited amount of these scholarships and they are uh, allocated on a competitive basis. Again, about the application deadline for this scholarship, it is on the 1st of June. So let's continue to scholarship number five. This is actually not a single scholarship, but a group of scholarships uh, specifically for Aalto University international double degree programs. So there are a bunch of different international double degree programs at Aalto, and a lot of these have their individual scholarships. Usually the scholarships for the double degree programs are very extensive, but I will not go into detail in this video because there's a big list of them. Uh, rather, I have listed all of the Alta Double Degree programs in the description box down below with all the links to the relevant scholarship pages. So if you are applying or studying in a, a double degree program, go check them out below. So the last important group of scholarships specifically meant for Alta University students are provided by the Alta University Student Union, more commonly known as AYY. I will do a separate video on student unions in Finland a bit later, but what you need to know on this topic is that basically every single university student in Finland is a part of a student union of that specific university. This means that you have the ability to apply for grants or scholarships provided by your student union to their members. So AYY basically has three different scholarships, an exchange scholarship, a community scholarship as well as a study scholarship. So the exchange scholarship is meant for students taking their international exchange or an unpaid international training period. What is a bit difficult about this is that the value of the scholarship is actually not fixed. Rather, the value is based on the country you are going to. Just as a benchmark, the maximum value uh, in 2018 was 800 euros per person. So the applicants for the exchange scholarship are ranked based on a combination of academic success as well as community activities. So what this means is that the scholarships are awarded to students who have successfully progressed in their studies with good grades and at the same time have been able to actively participate in student activities. So the second AYY scholarship is the community scholarship. This is supposed to reward students who have distinguished themselves in different community activities. Uh, basically, this means that the applicants will be ranked on the amount of community activities they've done, as well as the amount of responsibilities they have had during that time. What is important to note is that this scholarship can only be granted once, and it cannot be granted to a person who has already received the AYY study scholarship. Money-wise, in 2018, the community scholarship was 500 euros per person. Lastly, we have the AYY study scholarship, which is basically meant to reward students who have successfully combined both academic studies as well as uh, student activities. As with the community scholarship, the study scholarship can only be granted once and it cannot be granted to a person who has already received the community scholarship. Also, the value of the study scholarship is the same as with the community scholarship, which was 500 euros per person. Whew, so <laughs> this has already been quite an information dump, but unfortunately that is not everything. So just within Aalto University, there are additional student associations as well as guilds that have their own scholarship programs for their member students. The information on all of these is very scarce. It's all over the place. But if you want more information, what I suggest it is that you follow these individual uh, institutions and, and groups on social media. Basically, that's where they will give all the information necessary for you to apply for any of the scholarships or, or the grants that they have open. The same with the application timelines. They're all over the place. Unfortunately, you just have to follow these guys on social media to find out more. So, so as you can see, the, the scholarship program in Finland in general is, it's a mess. 
there's a huge amount of entities uh, involved at every single university. But if you take something out of this video is that the most important or the most rewarding scholarships are granted by the universities themselves. The biggest ones are the ones that you apply for at the same time uh, when you apply to the university, but the, they have some good uh, incentive-based uh, scholarships that are basically uh, dependent on you doing really well in your studies. All right, so that's it for this very long and tedious video. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I will be uploading separate videos talking about the other major universities in Finland and their scholarship programs in the coming weeks. So if you don't want to miss those, do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you have anything to ask about this topic or any other topic related to education or studying in Finland, do leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.